So tell me, does university still worth it, especially here in Nigeria? For me? Yes, university is still worth it. All this time wasted in the name of nation is Was it worth it? By now, it doesn't feel so. The question, does university really worth it, can be yes or no. Three years back, when my brother finished university and same year, I got admitted into one of the prestigious universities here in Nigeria to study an engineering. By then, we were all happy. And then, one year passed, no job for him. Second year passed, no job for him. Third year passed, and still no job for him. And then, I began to ask myself, why am I still in school? What am I doing here? Because one of my greatest fears is for me to graduate and I'm not able to take care of my family. After they must have spent so much money to make sure that I graduate and then when the time comes for me to take care of them and then I fail. Yes, they may pretend that they are okay but deep down they are not. Especially if they are from this kind of family that are not financially buoyant and they try their best as much as possible to see you graduate and then the only thing you can do is to come back with just a certificate and then you decide to leave home in search of green pasture and one year pass, two year pass, three year pass and still yet they don't even receive anything really tangible from you. What you do whenever they call is ah, since show sure cool. I never see anything really tangible doing or trust me at that moment they'll feel really disappointed. But as you all know, parents will always pretend as if everything is okay. You may be in school right now and your parents are putting in their whole effort to see you graduate, and immediately you graduate, they will start looking up to you for assistance. And this can be a very big challenge if you don't have anything doing after your graduation. Now let's talk about why university doesn't work it. In Nigeria today or Africa as a whole, there are millions of unemployed graduates and this will continue to increase every year since the government we have today are not ready to do anything about it. There are millions of people who don't have a degree but they found themselves in tech or as a business owner and they are doing so well than people who have a degree. There are many careers that don't pay well to make a degree worth it and there are many careers that you can enter without a degree. You can certainly be successful without a degree. Your skills and talent can hire you or land you in a self-employed. Find out exactly what skills are needed for your career path and work hard to excel in them. You will have to be determined, self-disciplined and goal-oriented. When I say hard work, I do not say you should work hard at the wrong thing. You should work hard at the right thing. You got to work smart. Yes, don't just work hard for the sake of work hard. And many companies today do not look at a degree during the hiring process. Instead, they will ask for a written answers and a preliminary skills test during the application and impersonal skills test during the interview process. Your skillless personality and recommendation will go a long way for a company such as this. Most areas of technology are more heavily dependent on irrelevant skills. In my own perspective, I'll tell you that it is not necessary to get a degree before you become successful and there are many high income earners who do not have a degree and there are many high pay industry who welcome non-degree. Startup in technology for example can be more interested in your skills and potential than a degree. You can also start up your own business in something you exert at such as consulting, marketing, design, freelance, programming, content creation, etc. All of which can pay well without a degree. You also don't need to get a degree to become an expert in some area personal and professional experience coupled with online resources can give you expertise in your field that a degree cannot. In addition, your degree could be used by the time you graduate. Take computer science for example. You can learn to become a computer expert in two years instead of spending four or five years in the university. Industries such as technology and science are always changing. A better way to learn and become successful in your field is to keep yourself updated by learning a new skill to your skills every time possible in your feed. And finally, what about the money, the stress and the resources you spent in acquiring a degree and at the end of the day you graduate without getting a job? Well, that's so sad. And in Nigeria today or Africa as a whole, if you graduate and you don't have any connection, well, you don't enter one chance with that too. Because it is not what you know again, it is who you know. It will only take a grace of God to land yourself a job. So, all this being said is the reason why the question does university really still worth it? No. So now, let's dive into the reason university is still worth acquiring. If you are here and you haven't subscribed to this channel, like this video, share this video, I do recommend you do those things. Thank you. Let's go back to the business. There are countless reasons why you should go to university today. There are some career paths that you must have a degree. For example, doctor, lawyers, etc. Without a degree, you can never be professional in this field. Another common reason is for the opportunity for an increased income and a boost to the resume. A degree holder on an average makes much money more than those working with just only a diploma certificate. Another reason is that many companies won't consider an applicant without a minimum or bachelor degree. In addition, university gives you a depth in 
in your field that short programs, certificates, and work experience can't offer. All of these courses, projects, exams, and group work will give you the critical thinking experience you need to enter the workforce competitively. So, those are all the great reasons to go to university, but is it really worth it? The truth is that there are so many online flexible and low cost options this day that you are almost certain to find a program that will be within your budget and time constraints. Pursuing a specialized undergraduate certificate program can be potential beneficial option. In the end, you will need to decide for yourself if the program is worth your time and money. So if you are worried if your degree will worth the investment, then I will advise you do some research on the path you should follow. Some common courses with high return of investment include engineering, doctors, computer science, economics, and accounting and finance. Actually, it is up to you to determine how you define success yourself. If you are able to start up your own business or continue a family business or start up small in a company and move your way up, do you consider that a success without a degree? Well, that's best for you. Or do you feel the need to graduate from university no matter how your career path? I don't have that answer for you, but I would recommend you do some reflection on how much a degree matters in your own definition of success. University is not for everyone. If you don't find peace in going, then don't. It all depends on the career you choose to follow. If your career doesn't require it, then don't. Especially if you are in a tech. But believe me, the both can be super cool. In the end, both education and marketable skill is the key. Yay, yeah, we've come to the end of this video, but don't click on just yet. This video took so much of my time to research, script, edit, film, and so on and so forth. So you can't imagine how much I really do appreciate your support. If you can subscribe to this YouTube channel, share the video, drop your comment at the comment section. I will really, really, really appreciate that. And also, if you don't like the video, don't be shy. Hit the dislike button twice for you to be sure. <laughs> See you in the next video. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>